I won. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News on Channel 3 at noon. I'm Kara Sundlin. And I'm Nicole Nalepa. We continue to follow that developing news in New Haven, where staff at the Omni New Haven Hotel at Yale are now into day two of their strike. We want to get right out to Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland, who is live with the latest today. Matt? Well, hi there, Karen, Nicole. Uh, sort of uh, the timing, you got the buses, but behind them you can sort of hear them. I'm sure you can. That's part of the 120 plus workers here at the Omni Hotel in New Haven striking. Uh, they went on strike yesterday. They're out here again today joining thousands of hotel workers across the country who have gone on strike demanding a better contract and increased wages. Well, they've been negotiating with the hotel, they say, since last November. Still no deal in sight. And the striking workers include everything from housekeepers, front desk workers, bartenders, servers, cooks and kitchen staff, along with engineers. Everyone represented by local 217 Unite Here. Now you can hear the drumming, the chanting. You can see the signs that read, one job should be enough and respect our work. They feel they're underpaid and fed up following months of what they say are slow-moving negotiations. We've been fighting for so long. We are hard workers. We deserve better wages, better pay. If push comes to come, we're going to be out here a little bit longer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we would like to come to an agreement. We, I mean, we need this for our families, for ourselves. Now, the Omni Hotels and Resorts have released a statement saying, out of respect for all parties, the Omni won't comment on the status of the negotiations, except to say that we remain committed to bargaining in good faith to reach a contract agreeable to all parties. They go on to say that they will continue to provide uninterrupted service to their guests while this strike is ongoing. And again, these folks, these workers say they will be out here for as long as they need to be. We're live from the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.